Hi, it's Dr. Botox here, Dr. Danielle Mark Collins, um, and I have a confession to make. I am actually such a complete fraud. I'm parked here in Rodeo Drive, and I was parked here Sunday, whatever, eight days ago, and I was giving up the whole, oh, I'm gonna do a whole series on how to pass your driving test, and with the DMV, and I was telling everyone I have my new driving instructor, Dr. or Mr. Tang, and I explained that like I booked one lesson with him because he has the plug-in at the downtown, LA DMV so I was like if I do one lesson with him he'll book me and I can get that out of the way I did pass my theory test um you must do your theory test before you pass before you attempt the behind the wheel test and I have to do a behind the wheel test because obviously I'm an immigrant so I'm doing a behind the wheel driving on the wrong side of the road test as I like to call it this week has been a disaster. I last Sunday was giving it the whole, I'm gonna teach everyone how to pass their DMV test and here's my top tips. And at a stop sign, whoever gets their first stops and then whoever gets their first goes first. And then I was telling everyone, don't do rolling California rolls at the stop signs. And I'm basically a complete fraud because I my Mini Cooper was smoking and spewing smoke everywhere right after I did that on the Monday morning, or sorry, the Sunday evening. And then on the Monday morning, I had to go on a tow truck to a shop I went to the foreign car shop and funnily enough, it's funny, the Americans think that Mini Coopers and also like Range Rovers are temperamental cars, which they are. I mean, Range Rovers, the electrics can be temperamental, but I've always had a Range Rover and I've also like a lot of the time they're, they've given them to me for free or whatever, depending. I think I got my first one when I was doing the Real Housewives of Dublin. So I like them and I know them and I know the good, the bad and the ugly. And so I bought this little mini just to do the testing because it's really small and there's also a real shortage of cars, secondhand cars, new cars. It's tricky here at the moment to get cars. So I have this little murdered up mini that's now in the shop. I went to the shop on Monday, came back on Wednesday, it started spewing smoke again Thursday. I named it Margaret so that it would behave itself. So Margaret the mini then went back to the shop. It actually went to Mini Cooper dealership. They put it up in the diagnostics. There's some serious stuff going on. I don't know. I haven't even had a driving test. So I haven't even had a driving lesson this week with Mr. Tang because I have no car. Well, I have this Mini Cooper, but I haven't been really available. There's been so much drama around the Mini Cooper and everything. And so I'm a complete fraud. I'm giving it the whole on. I'm going to give everyone top tips on how to pass your driving behind the wheel on the wrong side of the road test. And I did pass my theory test, which was good, but it wasn't like, I mean, I went to school in Trinity College, which is like Irish Ivy League. And I must say the, the exam conditions down the DMV for your theory was not like what I'm used to insofar as normally I would be sitting at a desk in Trinity College, like Irish Ivy League and doing when I was doing my DDS, dentistry or master's of aesthetic medicine. Same with the aerospace engineering. I did aerospace engineering at UMIST in the UK which is like English MIT uh, nice exam conditions the DMV is not good exam conditions everyone has about 37 family members with them some of them were even in my cubicle it was chaotic it was like I couldn't concentrate but I passed